Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. Yes, we, today we are doing some more expansions and we are about to be level 95, inching so much closer to the max level. But I had to hire another Fred back for my fourth cashier because all of a sudden I started getting about 120 customers per day around like 85-ish or like maybe between like 85 and 90, level 90. So that really kind of got bumped up with my store level with the customers. So I'm getting like 120 customers per day or, or around that. But what I want to do is we are going to be buying some licenses, but let's go ahead and just order you up and go over here and just order that real quick. Okay, there we go. I went ahead and ordered the few product I needed to fill up my shelves with, and those uh, Stevie Big Lips should get to work. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to a management licenses. We're not doing any growth expansions. You'll probably get that when I hit max level because look how much money this costs. We need probably at least like half a mil, probably more, but that's like 100, 2, 3, 4, 5 roughly 800 mil just to do expansions so we're gonna buy three licenses today we're gonna buy the books which i am very curious about because i want to know how much the books sell for and if they're really worth it so let's go ahead and just buy uh those up i'm pretty sure those just go on the shelves and we got some cakes chips chocolate sodas gotcha and then buy one more for thirty-four thousand six hundred. We're gonna buy some more cleaning products, and it looks like this one's gonna give us some toothpaste. Oh no, more toilet paper! This isn't turning out well for us. And because of the higher customers, I've also had to start filling out my shelves again. I was just doing just two rows, but that is not working out with the customer load. So what we need to do is we're gonna get these set up today as well to handle more product and just fill them all the way down once again. I did it with the shelves, but we gotta get the rest of everything else filled out but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start ordering product let's go ahead and go to market go to products then we're gonna go scroll all the way down i kind of wish you can sort it by new that would be just so very helpful and we're gonna get the book set up first so let's go ahead and order just two of each i'm gonna get them set up like this by putting the amount in and just order two books each and that's costing a couple hundred, but we got 34,000. So we should be good enough to get all this new stuff set up. Actually, you know what? We're going to set up the shelf products first. So all those go on shelves. Uh, let's see. We got some more books right over here. That is a lot of books. So hopefully they sell for a good amount. It looks like they don't really have a high price value when buying them. So I guess we're about to find out how good these books actually are five four now that should be okay i think and we're gonna have to go over here and i was gonna put some stuff right here i think we're gonna make like a little aisle until we get an expansion going right there so like we're gonna do like that like this or wait no we'll keep that like that and then we're gonna get another shelving unit and this is gonna this is actually gonna work out just fine like this i think go like this Oh, and I just, all I did was eyeball it. Look at that. We got little aisles going right over here, and that is perfect for our new product that we just unlocked. Put you right there as well. And get one more shelf. I can't wait to hit max level. It's been something I've been wanting to hit for so long. And we'll put you right there. And along with the uh, four Freds now working for me, I do have an extra register for me to help out because even these four Freds are not enough because they are super slow and... As you guys saw in a mod showcase, I sometimes use a faster cashier mod. I take it out a lot, though, just so I can basically keep busy myself when I have nothing else going on. And I like to do the register as well. There we go. So I just got to get these books set up real quick. Okay, so these books are all set. What I decided to do was I decided to do two shelves for the books just to save on space just a little bit. And I want to see how they sell out first before I do like a full row all the way down of each specific book and as you can see there is all the books that we just ordered right there and it kind of saves some space a little bit and i have all these extra shelving units available for the future product i went ahead and put them in my storage as well so here is my books in the uh, storage and that is all good to go for when my stockers need to fill them up and now next we got some cakes and stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to order I kind of want to just order two of everything for now. And I kind of want to see how it fills up the shelves as well. 
and that is actually full and we just left off on water so hopefully i don't order extra well if i do order extra it is not a horrible thing because i can just put it in the shelving unit right here which i think i'm going to do that as i find space for the product so right now we got more cleaner so where is the cleaner going to go i have officially i think ran out of a lot of room so cleaner yeah i don't really have any avail cleaner i guess you're going right there for now oops i did not mean to take that piece from the other side i'll put you right there and cleaner like that i guess i have no idea I don't have any extra shelving units over here, do I? I do not think I do, and I apologize. My FPS is being really laggy right now for some reason. But for this, I'll just go ahead and uh, put you right here. And cleaner, uh, it's always going to be like that, so might as well go ahead and do that. There we go. And then we're going to have to just put this box away. What is going to be next? Do we have any? Oh, no. More cleaner. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? That's perfectly fine. I did order extra cleaner. I forgot about that. Uh, did I put one right there? Whoops. That is my bad. There we go. Okay. I get I get nervous and anxious when I get new product. No more huge. No more huge. Oh, we got toilet paper. Never mind. Oh, we got two. <laughs> what? Why do we need so many toilet paper products? We got one right over here. We got another one down over there somewhere. And now we got two more. Oh, hell no. Oh, we ran out of room, but you know what? I had a plan for this. I had a plan for when we ran out of room. What I need to do is I need to go over to management, you no know, market, furniture. We're going to order one more rack for now. Uh, purchase. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to go over here and we're going to move you just out of the way just a little bit. We'll put you like right there. That should be fine, I guess, for now. Get my new rack, and my new rack is, is going to go right here. I don't think... Unless... Could I fit two right there? I don't think I could. No, that's not going to work out like, I, like I'm picturing in my head. So we're going to try to just put you right there. You know what? I, I want it in the middle because that's just to make it look make it look nice and neat for my OCD that I get in when I play, play any type of video game. Okay, so I apologize about these little cuts, but sometimes it's just easier just for me to get to work and try to figure out how I'm going to be doing things. So I wanted to take a quick look at the prices for some of the new products. The books, they don't look like they sell for a whole lot of money, but I'm kind of curious how many of them we will be selling. And then the bleach, it, it could be better, but it's okay. Toilet paper, always going to be a money maker, so that's, that's fine, I guess. Uh, over here, I did get everything else set up, so the stockers are currently setting up everything over here to be fully stocked and good to go. Oops, I gotta do uh, this still. That is perfectly fine, though. The freezer's okay for now. I'll probably get to it in a little bit after the next cut. But as you can see, those stuff right there. Then I put these shelves back over here. I put the computer back in the storage. I'll show you guys that in a second. But here is the soda new uh, packs of colas that we have. Uh, looks like uh, some type of wrap, like a tinfoil type thing no toothpaste wow i don't know why i thought that was tinfoil but it's it's toothpaste <laughs> that works too uh then we got some chips over here again not huge money makers but i'm curious how much people product people buy it with my bigger variety over here looks like we got some like almost something that looks like nutella is my guess it's like a hazelnut uh thing almost like they can like a hazelnut spread that's the word i'm looking for cakes and then there we go right there. oh that sells for 33 dollars oh my gosh that that cake sells for a lot of money. I have everything above a market value by like 11% rounded down to the nearest 5 cent value. So that is actually going to be quite a big money maker for those cakes. Well, depending how much people buy. Then we got some new waters right here. I had to buy this fridge. And we're kind of looking compact, but enough room for all my product. And I'm kind of curious with those last expansions, how much room will I actually have in the store until in the future down the line, more licenses and stuff are added to the game. So I'm, I'm just very curious about that. And then over here, as you can see, I got the stuff set up right here for the new product. I don't like it. I'm going to be redoing the storage again soon to try to organize it a little bit better. And then the computer, I just put it right here because it's best to have it near where I have to order the product. But my Stevie Big Lips are going to be going ahead and stocking up the product. And we are about to be opening for some business. Let's go. Okay, and we are 
open for business. Some time has passed since that last cut because I tried to see if I can fix the in-game FPS issues. Long story short, I couldn't. I cleaned out my PC. I made a bunch of changes with NVIDIA and all that, and it just did not work out. And I even tried other games too. Like I tried jumping on COD, Overwatch, max FPS, and it's just still an optimization thing with this game. So hopefully it gets fixed in the future, but it's running smoothly for now. So might as well just leave it where it's at. Everything is kind of fully stocked. This is going to be driving me nuts. And I can't remember where we last left off because of how much time has passed since the last cut. But we do need some of those. So let's go ahead and order those real quick. There we go. And I'm kind of curious where or how much income we are going to be bringing in now with all the new product and everything. And I like how I like how full the store is looking. It's looking pretty, pretty nice with the full shelves. Once again, our supermarket's almost complete with those three licenses left. I don't care if it's too expensive. Go somewhere else. I think my I said my market prices were like 11% above. And I even took it down to the nearest five cent value. Ooh, someone's getting the new cleaner. I think I mentioned this before, but I love it when people buy the new product. It just makes me feel accomplished in some way. And this person's spending quite a bit of money. So good, good. Give me your money. Ooh, this person is buying the books. That's one thing I was wondering is like, how many books are these people going to be buying? And if I'm going to have to have a full shelf of them in the future, this sucks because uh, they're not, they don't sell for quite a lot, but you know what? It, some money, I guess. Like, how are the shelves looking? Yeah, the shelves are looking fantastic right now for what it is. Oh, somebody else you getting some books, sir. What kind of books are you getting? You're getting, I won't share. You must be for kids unless you're reading it for yourself, which that's fine too. We do not judge over at my supermarket and we're about to have to open up that last line and probably get some orders in ourselves. How much you guys spending? You guys spending a lot of money? Doesn't look like it. Hopefully we make some good income today with how much money I just spent to get here. The checkouts are full. So I guess that is my cue to open up my register and we are good to go. Hopefully we get some big orders. Drives me crazy when people order only or order. People only want to buy one product because that's not really, that's not really helping me out. And that's just a waste of my customer capacity for the day. $77. You have a good day too expensive. You know what we, like I said before, I say this many times, we are a premium supermarket outlet and you can go somewhere else if you want cheaper spots. I, got, I ran around the neighborhood. There is nowhere else for you to go. So you are stuck with me in our little Sesame street esque neighborhood where there's no, no way to leave. Or I guess you could uh, call it the Truman Show area, if you would like. Oh, we got some books. Nice. I love it. And some of that new uh, detergent or whatever. Nice. And 273. Come back anytime. Make sure you spend that or more. That would be lovely. Hey, how you doing? Oh, did not much. Okay. Uh, 35, 85. You could definitely do better next time. I try to give you guys motivation to do better and spend more money when you come into my supermarket. There you go. Have a good day. Couldn't find a soda can six pack. Don't I have that in the storage? I think my guys are. Yeah, I do. They're all right there. Uh, you guys are already falling behind. Oh, no. Hopefully in the future we can get more employees because, uh, yeah, we're, we're falling behind. That's why you keep having to jump on the register. Hey, how you doing? Uh, 165 even. I love even numbers and I love your money. Have a good day. Wow, you guys are wanting that soda can six pack. I thought I fully stocked that up. Oh, let me take your money real quick before I go check that out. Did I fully stock that from top to bottom? We do have soda can six pack. Or do we have another one that I did not order? You know what? We're going to have to check. They're saying soda can six pack. I think that's what they said. Now, unless I look back in editing and it wasn't. Oh, no, I didn't order these. Oh, no. Uh, let's order. Oh, I can't order them until the day for this day. So we'll do the next day. Uh, and then we're going to have to buy one more shelf. So that's basically like the the Zappa or uh, lemon lime soda equivalent for the uh, six pack. Thirteen ninety. Have a good day. Oh, we got so many people here. We were at like 19,000. We are doing good on money, which is very, very nice. So we're going to have a lot of complaints at the end of the day because I never ordered the one soda, which I... Must have just uh, completely glanced over. I'm sorry. It's a Zappa soda. I know it's what you guys want, but I just don't have it right now. My bad. 
Uh, over $200. Come back anytime, anytime, sir. Okay, so that was my last customer on my end. I think these guys can handle the rest. And while Stevie Big Lips is finishing their stocking, I'm going to go ahead and put that shelf in the... I don't have an extra shelf, do I? I do not think I do. Nothing right there. Oh, wait. Do I over here? No, that's all toilet paper. Oh, I do. Right here. So next to the dog food, we'll go to Zap, but That's going to save me money so I don't have to buy an extra shelf right now. And... There's going to be so much organizing once I have everything fully maxed out and everything. But the good thing is with buying all these products and everything, I am over level 95. So you don't got to worry too much about losing that one experience point each for like them not liking stuff or finding stuff too expensive because you'll make up for it in the end. We're going to add six of you, four goes down the shelf, and then two are going to go in a area to stock. And we'll probably put it up. No, we'll put the Zappa six packs right there. That'll work. Why not? Final customer of the day. Are you spending a lot of money? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, so close to 300. Oh, man. I have not seen a 300 order in a while. Now, one thing I noticed with the more products and everything you have, I'm getting more people spending over 200, which is actually very nice per order. Oh, sorry, Fred. Fred, number one, I got very close to you right there. So right here, 123 customers. Five products not found. It's mainly those soda six packs I forgot to buy in stock. But brought in over $11,000. Of course, 20000 in supplies. So we are in the hole on that day. But that's what we do. Spend money just to make more money. And hopefully soon we'll be just doing nothing but profit once we get these last expansions and licenses. Which are still going to be a while because I need a lot of money. But let's go ahead and order these up. And then the storage isn't looking too, too bad, which is nice. Uh, let's go see the Zappa Soda. Where are we going to put you? Next to the dog food? Yep, that's what I said before. So let's go put you over there. Now, I don't think these make a ton of money. Four seventy. Oh, and Oh, I ordered too much because I didn't know each box. Okay, I forgot about that. Each box does two shelves. You know what? It's fine. It's always nice to have extra product. And you don't got to worry about it for a little bit. So, you know what? I'll take it. So since one box does two shelves, I'm not going to do four high for these sodas. I decided I'm just going to keep these for extra boxes for now. And then we're just going to do two shelves each for each of the six packs. And that should get us by for a while. And like I said, the rest is just going to be right over here, I think. Yeah, I would do my excess product right there. What is this? The compact toilet paper that is over here and... I am good on that, so nobody apparently got the new toilet paper, which is kind of sad because uh, it's just a waste. Ooh, I didn't mean to go on that. Just a waste of money sometimes, but we'll eventually sell it, so I guess it's not that big of a waste of money. We're going to go ahead and get over here, get all this stuff over here, and get this just out of the way. And then I just got to order my stock for my storage, and then we can open up for business. And as you guys know, I'm using a, a pro scanner mod, so I can do this like this and... Just to make things a little bit easier for me. But I'm just going to go ahead and order my stuff. And we will open up for day number two on this episode or part or whatever you want to call it. Opening for business on day number two of today. Uh, Yeah, or today. Wow, today's episode, I guess. But everything's getting a lot easier to order. Because I feel like they're like spreading out the product a little bit more with the customers. I could, it could just be in my head. But we'll just order a bunch of butter, I guess. And try to keep some things extra stocked. But I think I only spent about... 5k in product maybe 6k which is usually seems to be the average for me around this time but one the reason i explain a lot of this to you guys is i'm i want you guys to see how i do things and if you can kind of optimize it to you to maybe do the same or do even better and just to show you guys my results and progress in the game but not too bad and like i said everything is looking nice and smooth and let's see how much money we make today we're about to have to open another register, but you know what's something that is so satisfying? When I'm fully stocked up and I have my stockers working for me, cashiers working, everything's working together, including the customers, and just watching them work and watching that money grow. But now we have to be an active manager and get to work because there are lines. And now there's no penalty for having them wait, but it does help you get started on the next day a lot quicker just so you can get started and keep on making that money hey how you doing welcome to the supermarket 170 you know what that is perfectly fine i like i mostly like orders above 150 so you're you are good 
And if you order above 200, you're really good. And if you order above 300, you're my favorite customer. Uh, 25, 35, 40. There you go. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Hey, how you doing? At least I'm selling some yogurt at my prices. That is good. I'm not selling a lot, which I don't mind because it just saves me on having to actually purchase a bunch of that product when they don't want something. I don't care. It's too expensive. You guys complain way too much. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. Uh, I just did that weirdly. I wasn't even thinking. You want some toothpaste? Nice. I don't know why you need like five pieces of toothpaste, but okay. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you want the kegs? The kegs are my favorite because it makes so much money. 224, you can come back anytime, sir. Anytime. Hey, sir, how you doing? I'm just doing these random cuts because it kind of gets repetitive with me talking while doing some of these. 260, though, that is perfectly fine. You come back anytime. I kind of wish I could ban certain customers if they only buy one product. You are not welcomed here, but we are almost done, I think, for the day. We still got some people shopping around, but that's fine. We did head out about 24,000, so we're averaging about 10 to 11k a day, I think. Which is pretty, pretty good. Hey, how you doing? Oh, never mind. I just checked you out, so I should have said that earlier. I wasn't even thinking. Like I said, how you doing, sir? Uh, that'd be 86.6. There you go. Have a fantastic day or evening. It is kind of night now. Uh, let's see. How much? How much? Uh, 73.8. There you go. Have a fantastic day. Uh, some toothpaste and stuff. Nice. I love it when we sell that new product. There you go. Have a good day. Oh, dog food. Let's go. Dog food is a money maker as well. Ooh, $349. <laughs> Let's go. You can come back anytime. I was just scanning and didn't even notice at first. 25, 50, 65. There you go. Have a fantastic day. I love it. It doesn't happen often, but those $300 orders are things to be treasured and cherished when it does happen. 13, uh, 75. There you go. Uh, and then you guys, you guys just, you guys just suck. <laughs> you're not, you're not doing, you're not doing me justice with these small orders. That person made my night though. One, two, three, four, and five cents. There you go. Have a good day. And we're just going to close you up. Is anybody over here making my day? Probably not. Or nope. Doesn't look like it. How about this person? Uh, nope. They're not going to make my day. Okay. So as we wind down to the last few customers, I was just looking at the money in the top right. I want to say this is one of the best days I've had in a while, if not ever, on a supermarket sim. Oh, this person's ordering quite a bit too, and this person is. So we're, I think we're going to get above 38000 Now, if I remember correctly, we were at about twenty-four, close to twenty-five before I started the day. And then we spent about 5,000. We did have 30,000. So I think we made about 7,000 profit. If my math in my head is actually correct there, uh, you could have spent more. So you could have spent so much more. Oh, 300. Let's go. Another one. Yes. Two 300 hour orders in the same day. Let's go. I am thrilled right now. Let's go ahead and finish that day. At 120 customers, we brought in 13 grand. And we made over 8,000 in profit. That is one of the best days I think I've had. Now, of course, storage is looking kind of messy. So the next business day won't be as good. But that's where we are going to be wrapping it up. Next time you guys see me, I'll probably be max level. I'll probably have enough money. I'm about to do a grind to get that money to do the rest of the storage expansions and licenses. So be sure to look forward to that whenever that does happen. Check out the description below for the Discord. Really trying to grow that community as much as I can. And like, subscribe if you like the content and want to come back for more and stuff like that. But until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next live stream and or video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.